I have a mouse problem in the chicken coop. The coop is three years proven and no animal can escape or enter of its own free will, except for one. The only creature that can defeat this fortress is the noble field mouse. This is about to change. For a father and son, it is time to build a mouse trap. From the depths of the parts bin, we pulled out some sheet metal and began to cut out the trap door. To add a bit of style, a radius was added to one end and then refined on the belt sander. The trap door was traced onto a bucket lid. A pilot hole was drilled for a fine toothed reciprocating saw blade and the opening was cut out. Using an X-Acto knife, the rough edges were refined and the opening was made slightly larger than the trap door. In order for the trap door to perform, a hinge needed to be mounted. A welder would have worked splendidly, but being a father-son project, we decided on making two metal straps and securing a heavy steel wire to the trap door with pop rivets. Brackets were cut, bent, and drilled. Once attached to the bucket lid, they acted as the pivot for the trap door. Ah, you got it. The hinges were attached on the underside of the lid. When it did not hinge smoothly, a design change was made and a washer was added between the trap door and the hinge bracket, providing a smooth, low friction action. The athletic ability of our field mice is not to be underestimated. Reaching back into the parts bin, we designed a shroud to cover half the trap door. This way, if a mouse decided to jump for it, the shroud would trap it and block its escape. The trap door was carefully weighted so it would return to its original position after being tripped. Super glue and activator secured a paint can lid, completing the shroud. We set a motion activated camera and waited, checking the video each time we got an alert. Finally, at midnight, we found success. only to then taste defeat. The next morning, it was back to the shop. The hinge brackets were relocated to the top of the lid, and the trap door was repositioned to eliminate the gap that allowed the mouse to escape.
a magnet was used as an improved counterweight, so the balance of the trap door could be refined based on the weight of the bait. The mice seemed hesitant to enter under the original shroud, so a larger one was attached. Let's check what we have. Hello, ladies. So this is night one of version two. Two, four, five. So there you go. This upgraded model seems to do the trick. <laughs> 